Okay, so today let's review two courses, Python for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence and Development, and Python Project for Data Science. So whether you are taking the Profession Certificate IBM Data Analyst, or whether you are interested in learning data analytics with Python, these two courses are a great start. Okay, so should you, should you take these courses or not? That's the question. Well, we can have the answer by going over the courses and see the material. So let's go over Python for Data Science, Artificial Intelligence, and Development. So, so the course consists of five weeks. Okay, in order to pass, you have to pass all of the weekly quizzes. So you have a weekly quizzes just to uh, ensure you have ingested the knowledge correctly. And yes, only weekly quizzes. So all you have to do is to pass the quizzes in order to uh, pass this course. But uh, let's talk about what is the content of this course. Is it the right content you're looking for? So the first three weeks, you will learn the basics of Python. So as you can see, uh, you will learn the variables, expressions, you will learn strings, dictionaries, sets, tuples, lists, conditional branching and loops, functions, exception handling, objects and classes. Up to week three, you will form a basic foundation of So up to week three, uh, you will have formed a basic foundational knowledge of Python. Now let's talk about week four. So in week four, you will start to get your hands dirty with data analysis. So you will learn the basics of uh, data analytics. Before you uh, start analyzing data with Python, you have to understand some basics. An example, you have to understand how to open, read and write files with Python, with this lab writing files with, with open. And of course, most of the APIs used in data analytics are Bandas and NumPy. So in this week, you will learn about NumPy, how to use NumPy to form arrays, one-dimensional arrays, two-dimensional arrays. And lastly, <coughs> in week five, Here we'll get introduced to some API IBM products, uh, the artificial intelligence ones, and here you will learn how to uh, web scrape. Technically, web scraping is the uh, process of retrieving data from the web using Python. Uh, so you learn web scraping as well, and you will learn how to deal with different file formats while you are scraping the web. So let's take an example, a lab. So most of the labs are conducted online, okay? So, but sometimes the lab doesn't open for some technical reasons. So if that's the case, or if that happens to you, you can download Anaconda. So go to Google and download Anaconda. So if you download Anaconda, after you download Anaconda, right? Open the command line and type Anaconda. Okay, now in here type Jupyter Notebook. Once you open Jupyter Notebook, it will open the current uh, working directory and you, will, you can start working on your projects from here. Technically, you can use Jupyter to compile any Python project. Okay. So for example, if I go to downloads, let me show an example project. Web scraping, simple API. Okay, let's see this one. So this is an example lab from the course. You see, this is the lab about application programming interface. And in this lab, most probably here, you will learn about uh, plotting data. You will learn about Pandas, which is an API for uh, learning how to, you know, retrieving data. After you retrieve data from the web, you want to store the data in data frames, uh, which, are, which, are, which consist of columns and rows to process and analyze data. So basically, this is the lab. And as you can see, there are code snippets in every uh, learning phase where you will get to apply the knowledge by learning the code and executing the code. So for example, this code, you can execute this code by typing shift and enter. 
For example, here we have an error. Num PD is not defined. Where is that? So, if you want to fix the error here, what we have to do is to get down, scroll down. You see now the code has been executed. So that's an example lab from the course. Definitely the right type of course you want to take if you want to learn or if you want to get started uh, in data analytics with Python. Okay. Now, after finishing this course, you will have the chance to apply the knowledge you have gained in this course in a project. So the course that comes after this course, which is tied uh, exactly to complement this course. The course is Python, Python project for data science. Now, in this course, you will have to complete one project and in order to pass this course. So, if you go to week one. Okay, so in this course, your project is to analyze stock performance and build a dashboard to visualize data. So, basically, you will start uh, with this one, extracting stock data using a Python library. Okay, you will learn how to extract stock data with Python library, which is by finance. And then you will learn how to do the same, but with web scraping using the API Beautiful Soup. You will have an example of how to accomplish these objectives on Tesla, analyzing stock Tesla stocks and another company, uh, I couldn't recall. And lastly, you will uh, combine and condense all of the code that you have uh, written so far in one code and submit your assignment. Let's take let's take an example of how the assignment looks like. So, if I open the project files here, final project assignment, this one. So this is the final project. Of course, this is a, a solved one after I submitted the course, but you have to write all of this code here and make sure that your results are correct in order to pass the, the course. And lastly, you will submit screenshots. Let me open the, let's go down. I think here we have to make some adjustments. Let's take a look at my submission. So your assignment is, to, as, 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 I said, as I told you earlier, is to analyze stock data using Python libraries and uh, web scraping. So this is the assignment, how it looks like. First, you use y to extract stock data. And of course, you write the code here, execute the code to make sure that you have got the right result. And then you repeat the same process, but with web scraping. Technically, we use beautiful soup. And of course, you will finally plot the results to show the performance and to visualize the data. All right, that is about these two courses. At the end, you will get certificate and mostly, uh, most importantly, you will get badge. So here, let's take a look at the badge. So IBM will issue a badge called Python for Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. And you can show this badge on your LinkedIn profile. So that was about these two courses. I hope you enjoyed the review and see you in the next video.